question is the steady state current response of a series or lc circuit to a sinusoidal input of 10 sin of omega t volts is given by 5 sin of omega t minus 30 degree amps so its current response to an input of 10 cos of omega t plus 30 degree volts will be here see from the given data we can obtain the impedance of an rlc network which is equals to voltage divided by current that is 10 angle of 0 divided by 5 angle of minus 30 degrees which is equals to 2 at the angle of 30 degrees that is the impedance but the voltage and currents in the z expression involved in the form of sign but in the next case the input is in the form of 10 cos of omega t plus 30 degrees so we can express it in the equivalent sign form by advancing it by 90 degrees that is 10 sin of omega t plus 30 degrees plus 90 degrees which is equals to 10 sin of omega t plus 120 degrees for this particular input we have to calculate the current that is i equals to 10 at the angle of 120 degrees divided by 2 at the angle of 30 degrees that is 5 at the angle of 90 degrees now we can write this as 5 sin of omega t plus 90 degrees because in the above current expression the voltage is in the sign form as well as the impedance which we calculated from the pre uh, z expression is also in the form of sign expression so it is equivalent to 5 cos of omega t amps which is option d is correct the given differential equation is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to x y q and also its solution is given as y square into 1 plus c into e power x square is equals to 1 now we have to find the value of p of x in order to find the value of p of x first of all we have to convert the given differential equation into first order differential equation now in order to convert that we have to divide the given differential equation by y cube so if we divide it by y cube we will obtain y power minus 3 into dy by dx plus y power minus 2 into dy by into p of x is equals to x now again in order to convert it into first order differential equation what we do is let us consider y power minus 2 into dy by dx as some z now if we differentiate we will get it as minus 3 minus 2 into y power minus 3 into dy by dx is equals to dz by dx now this can be written as y power minus 3 equals to minus half into dz by dx now let us substitute these values of y power minus 2 and y power minus 3 in the differential equation so it will be y power minus 3 is nothing but minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 into dz by dx and the value of p of x will be as it is and y power minus 2 is nothing but y power minus 2 is nothing but z is equals to some x now this can be written as dz by dx minus 2 zx is equals to minus 2x now clearly it is in the form of a first order differential equation whose integrating factor will be e power minus p of x dx now here this is p of x now here clearly this p of x must be either x or minus x the reason is it is given as e power minus x square so p of x uh, integrating factor will be e power minus x square if and only if this p of x is x or minus x so let us take x let p of x is equals to x then the integrating factor will be e power minus x square let us see the general solution. 
general solution will be nothing but y into integrating factor which is e power minus x square is equals to integration of integrating factor factor into q of x which is nothing but minus 2x dx if i integrate this it will be y into e power minus x square that is equals to uh, e power minus x square plus some c if we simplify we'll get the given dif um, given solution of the equation that means the integrating factor is e power minus x square so p of x must be always x which is nothing but option c the question is we need to specify what kind of filtering action performed by the given network here the reactance of a capacitance is given as xc equals to 1 by j omega c means omega tends to 0 means x reactance of capacitance tends to infinite Whereas omega tends to in infinite means reactance of capacitance tends to zero. Here, in the first case where omega tends to zero, capacitor acts as a open circuit. Whereas in the second case where omega tends to infinite capacitor acts as a short circuit that is when omega equals to 0 v out equals to v in whereas when omega equals to infinite v out equals to 0 if we plot output voltage as a function of frequency at omega equals to 0 v in at omega equals to infinite it is 0 means as frequency increases the output decreases maybe it, it's not an exact shape but the output increases as frequency increases that is the function of the low pass filter which is option A is correct. Question is with the usual notations we need to derive the relationship between the given parameters alpha, beta, f alpha, f beta and f sub x t. Here alpha is common base current gain where beta is common emitter short circuit current gain and f alpha is the upper cut of frequency of common base amplifier f beta is the upper cut of frequency of common emitter amplifier and f t is the short circuit current gain of common emitter amplifier we know the relationship between f t and f beta is given as beta into f beta so again f t equals to f alpha equals to beta plus 1 into f beta from this we can derive the relationship between the f t and f alpha as f t equals to alpha into f alpha from the from this the answer is option a is correct the question is which of the following represents a direct band gap material we know the compound materials acts as a direct band gap materials where silicon germanium comes under indirect band gap materials whereas the compound semiconductor materials like gallium arsenide gallium arsenide phosphate indium phosphate gallium phosphate so on acts as a direct band gap semiconductor materials hence the option d is correct